Yeah, hello. Wow. Uh, usually I do a funny intro at this point, but uh, not today. Uh, we're getting right serious. Uh, let's talk about climate, climate change. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll lay down the most important facts. I'll add some opinion and then I make a couple of suggestions. Uh, okay, let's, let's just go. Um, most, uh, so uh, when, when you hear talk about climate, uh, there will be some numbers flo floating around like 1.5 degrees, 2 degrees, 3 degrees. What these are, are global average temperature um, compared to what it was before industrialization, where 1.5 degrees globally has quite an impact on a lot of ecosystems. 2 degrees, a lot worse actually, and past 3 degrees is just catastrophic. And the, the science community has known that for a long time. And like 10 years ago, lots of nations in Paris agreed that, yeah, let's, let's put an upper limit on the warming. Let's do whatever we can. But uh, not a lot has happened outside of just progress, I suppose. And where we are right now, um, to even have a chance to make the 1.5 degree goal, we would have globally stop burning any fossils by 2030 in six years. So speaking of mind-boggling shit, um, the, this is some data of 2023 in the, in the red lines and the gray lines are previous years. And these are like surface temperatures and the, the amount of Arctic ice at different times. And 2023 is pretty much an outlier, let's say. On the bottom right, you have the amount of forest that burned in Canada over time. So yeah, uh, speaking of really spooky graphs, uh, this is the sea level rise since 1900. It's a solid 20 centimeters. And yeah, the, the more recent trend is pretty much accelerating, looks like. Whew. Yeah, so I don't know about you. I find all of this quite uh, concerning. Um, although the thing is, most of us hailing from, from like Northern Europe, North America, we are not facing death and suffering anytime soon, but people in other geographies are, like right now. Um, for example, this is, this is a table of, it's a, it's a bit older, it's the largest rice exporters in the world. And leading up to 2020, uh, their numbers were dwindling, like harvests aren't so good anymore. And, and in fact, the largest exporter, India, uh, last year they banned all rice exports. That's how bad the harvest was. They need the rice for themselves. So our basic foods will be less available and more expensive. Those are just the facts. And uh, yeah, even, even if we manage to have a really significant change soon, then probably we are still just looking at a two degree goal, which, which is bad, which it, it, it will suck, well, whatever happens. Why is it so slow? I think one of the reasons is that world governments have this tendency to lie to themselves and pretend like, oh yeah, we do some trading of certificates and offsets and what have you. And all it's doing, it's, it's, it's just delaying the, the, the change that needs to happen. They also tell lies to you, by the way, like uh, the, the carbon footprint, huge hoax, look it up. Um, your personal consuming choices are pretty much insignificant uh, compared to this, this global, huge capitalistic machine that just tries to grow and grow and, and will destroy anything in its path if, if that's what happens. So what we need is, is, is policies, is laws. It's, it's not like your personal choices. So what, what can we do individually? I guess most of us are still in a pretty privileged bracket. We have a lot of resources, so maybe you can make business choices like like see where you put your work and your energy. Um, maybe you work for a larger corporation and then maybe that corporation can cut time uh, out of every employee's calendar to let them on the clock do some activism. Because I firmly believe to, to affect policy, to, to have an impact on the laws and on the way that the world works is we take the streets and if, if you are not personally comfortable with gluing yourself to a street or whatever the hell is going on around you, then a thing you can definitely do is support people in marginalized communities because the folks in the margins of society, they, they will suffer the worst from what's to come 
And if we share those resources, if we share the privilege, uh, it can make a world of difference. So there we have it. Um, let's make it a discussion. Find me, find me on social media, find me in the hallway track. Uh, let's, let's commiserate in climate anxiety. And uh, yeah, if, if you need some input on, on how you can maybe possibly help, I maybe also have some suggestions for you. Thanks. Thank you so much.